Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. What we have here is supposedly an Armadillo 6 pill, 6 transistor amp. Alright. <laughs> the story behind this bad boy is an old buddy of mine that's out of the CB scene now. He's thinking about getting back in it. Mr. Triple Nine, old Barracuda out there around the Tennessee Hills. He ran this box for about three years, maybe. And I'm talking about he ran the heck out of it. Hitting it with a three pill at one point. Ran the heck out of it. Won some shootouts with it. Shot skip like I ain't never seen with this thing, man. But the unique thing about the box that I have never seen up to that that particular point was he he was he was saying it was a competition box. It was only made for keying in competitions, this and that. But the box had hardly nothing in it. When I say nothing, he had no feedback circuits. I just added these. He had no one twenties on the pill strip. He had no balance and resistors on the combiner. Um Let's see what else it didn't have. I think that's about it. But, you know, not having all that on there, though, you know, wasn't a lot of filtering, man. It was a pretty unstable box, I would think. But I know this thing used to bleed, boy. Not having none of that stuff on there. <clears throat> but anyway... He blew a pill in it and finally took all the other pills out. So I've had the box for about two or three years myself with no pills in it. Well, I finally uh, gathered me up some transistors that matched here. Uh, they match uh, good enough, good enough to run this thing. And uh, Thought I'd go ahead and just get it up, get her up and running, man. Throw her on eBay. Cause I need, I think sure need some extra cash right now. So uh, the only thing the box it has a little bit of dent to it right here. The story behind that is uh, somehow or another he had an Antron 99 on his mobile. <laughs> he left the coax out or something and backed up, and it kind of pulled the box out of the car and put a dent in it so the box ain't in the best physical shape here's the top the, the the fins here are a little bent whenever that happened i think it bent the fins down on the fan and he had to pop them back up or whatever but you know none of the fins are, are hitting it now if, if i had extra time on my hands what i would actually do is is cut these out cut these fins out It'll make them quieter too, but cut these fins out right here and put some um, some grills right there. But you know, it's not in the best of shape by no means physically. Okay, but the box itself is in good shape inside. And you can see the board looks good. One good thing about this is you ha you have six transistors sitting on one solid heat sink. This ain't two heat sinks. This is one solid heat sink. So the box is going to run pretty cool. You know, you've got a lot of extra heat sink there. So, and, and he always, I, I swear to you, I have a video. I don't know if it's uploaded or if it's uploaded private. I have a video of him keying this box, you know, not with these same transistors in it, but when, when he was running it, keying this box down with one key how long was it uh, i want to say that it was for like nine minutes and 50 seconds straight key and he unkeyed and did like another nine i'm talking about straight nine minute key ha! i just could not believe <laughs> didn't even let off at all talking the whole time i tell you what that blew my mind that day. I, I couldn't believe he didn't blow the box up. He ran that thing for a year and a half after that. But, but anyway, you got a bolt back here for the ground. 
This is one of them old style remotes, you know, that you actually have to give it power to, uh, to you know, that relay on there. That's something you can hook up to your ignition if you wanted to and have the box come on there. But if, so, if somebody's going to get this box and if y'all need a remote, let me know. I'll throw a remote on there. I'll take this off and put a regular remote on there that you can run a regular, you know, one of my Y motes, wireless remotes, or a regular wired remote from X Force, Fat Boy, or anybody else. Just, just let me know if you need that. Um, sometimes, a lot of times, these bigger boxes, people will be using remotes when they're running in the mobile. But uh, she's working good, man. I mean, she's working very good, very good. I'm about to show you that now. So like I said, pretty much that's what I did. I dropped these transistors in here, put these matched 120s here on the pill strips, threw some feedback circuits on here, and uh, cleaned it up a little bit, not too much. Threw these balancing resistors here on the uh, input and output uh, port combiners. And that right there is an automatic SSB delay right there. Yeah, he used to always uh, uh, kid around. I could never understand why he was able to key this big box on sideband until I looked at it, and that's why. <laughs> but uh, and that's a little transmit light on the front right there. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm just gonna be running my two fourteen forty six driver. This is an AB bias driver. Dang voltmeter crapped on me earlier. I don't know why, but I'm gonna have to replace that. But, uh, so, gonna be running AB bias driver, uh, two 1446s. Go ahead and show you what that's gonna be doing. On the 1000 watt slug. Go! About 220 watts. RMS. Go! Ooh, about 80 watts RMS. Okay. All right, we're going to drive the bench radio, which, as you can see, the radio goes to this meter first before anything. That's a 10 watt slug reading the bottom scale where it says 100. That's 10 watts. About a 1 watt dead key. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. About four watts RMS. All right, we'll hook the hot radio up too after that. All right, we got this variable turned all the way up. It's gonna be doing about a 200 watt dead key. I can ease it down and get a 100 watt dead key, but we're just gonna roll with it like that for now. All right, we got this on a 200 amp supply, which is over there in that X-Force box. All right, thousand watt slug RMS. So that's about a 250 watt dead key. Oh, almost 600. Almost 600. About 590 RMS just with the four watt radio. That's smoking, son. Smoking. 21446 is banging this cotton picker. All right. Let's go ahead and unplug that. And we're going to hook up the hot. The uh, PDP is not too much. To, we got maybe a. Uh, 300 watt difference on the PEP. I'll show you the PEP here on the, the hot radio. On the bench there, the PEP, about 1650, 1680, something like that. With that just then. No, 1580. 1580. All right. Got the hot radio in. Yes, we do. All righty. All right, here's the hot radio, which we're gonna be putting eight watts into it now. 1,000 watt slug, eight watts RMS, which is gonna be hitting the driver. And that will be producing about 100 bird. Just to double check, let's turn the big box off. Ooh, about 110 bird, okay? Back on. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! 800 watts RMS. Come on now. No. No. <laughs> Damn. Whew. Let me calm down for a second, man. 
Good God, the money. That thing can't do that much power. They can when you're beating the snot out of them. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing right now, by the way. I'm I'm literally over, you know, I, I, I'm running this thing very hard with the hot radio hitting these two 1446s, which is probably pumping about 300 to 300. 20 330 watts into these you know I'm, I'm pumping them hard the first go around with the bench radio that would be ideally where you want to run the box set you know hitting it right there about 600 bird 580 bird peaking 15 1600 watts that's where you want to run it at i'm doing this just to show you what it can do all right we're putting the 5000 watt slug in i'm just going to show you the peak The 50 is 5,000. So that's about 18. Ooh. Right there, about 1,800 watts. 1,800 watts. And that is smoking for six transistors, man. Smoking. God dang it, buddy. If I didn't need the money, I'd keep this Joker. Might even bias this dang thing with optional biasing and run this thing in the mobile. Give a shout out to Stick Man. <laughs> hey, them ports work, don't they? <laughs> God damn, mighty dog, boy. Neat little box. I think one thing I might do, I did notice here, there's, there's no, uh, there's no bead on the four gauge here. I might pull this four gauge out and throw a little bead on there and tie strap it, but we got beads on each of the transformer. Inch and a half transformers. Doing their thing. 800 watts RMS. Good God the money. 600 to 800 watts RMS. That's smoking, bud. Four non dot 2879s. They are used. These ain't new 2879s. They are used. And as you can see, they're in good shape to run. Mr. Gatekeeper off the eBay, this bad boy goes. Got a lot of heat sink here, y'all. This is a good maul box to be mauling on for a little while. Gatekeeper in Georgia, I'm clear. Bye, 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 bye.